Hello and welcome to another gadget recycling video. Today we're going to be exploring NFC and show you the troubleshooting process we go through to fix a very often overlooked function of the iPhone 7. NFC or near field communication is low range wireless. For iPhone specifically this is used solely for Apple Pay. As you'll see it can often be rendered useless during simple repairs such as the display swap. The system works as a single looped circuit and faults are very often the result of either shorts against things such as the backplate of the display, the housing, or it can be the result of a poor contact. This can happen on any link of the chain throughout the circuit that the NFC takes. So, starting with simple contact shorts, these can cause the flow of energy to root in the wrong direction of the device, which results in, you guessed it, no NFC. The major one to pay attention to is the alignment of the NFC flex that sits in the top right corner of the device. It needs to be sat upright relative to the back of the device. Anywhere towards the edge of the phone or the board will result in a loss of NFC, as it will typically contact the back of the display. Now for breaks in the connection. This is the path that the NFC takes. Linking from the board via an NFC flex into the top section of the chassis and then back onto the board via an auxiliary ground on the left hand side of the device. Here using board view software you can see the links start to finish from the board's perspective. On this side we have the NFC output, on this side we have the auxiliary ground. The primary suspects on the iPhone 7 are the standoff screw that fasten the NFC flex down onto the board screw connecting the other side of the flex to the chassis and then on the other side there are two screws one is for the chassis to another link and then underneath a hidden cover you have another screw for that link connecting it to the board which presses it against the auxiliary ground you'll find a lot of time these screws are actually just not tightened up enough we don't recommend doing this powered on but you can see how a quarter turn here makes or breaks the NFC Although it's not always the case, this routine has fixed the vast majority of NFC issues we've encountered. On a single occasion for us, the NFC chip on the board required replacing, which we actually plan to cover in a future video, so be on the lookout for that. That's all for now, nice quick one for you. Be sure to check out our website, gadgetrecycling.ltd, for tested OEM parts, working and faulty devices. The link will be in the description.